Hi, my name is Colin and I'm here with Malachi and we are at Objective Reality Games. It's a virtual reality escape room and arcade here in Chillicothe, Ohio. And our podcast is going to be about gaming. And seeing as we are based out of a VR arcade, I thought that the best way to introduce ourselves and do a little introduction podcast here is to talk about some of our favorite VR games and give a little review of them. So, is it cool if I start off with my favorite game? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so my favorite VR game is pretty much a classic, if there was a VR classic game, and that's Beat Saber. Like, Beat Saber. I, I assume anyone who's ever wanted to try VR has at least heard of Beat Saber before, and it's for very good reason, because it is a fantastic game. Even though the gameplay is simple at face value, it's a lot deeper the more you get into it, I'd say. I personally am pretty bad at Beat Saber. Um, I can't usually get past hard difficulty, but um, but it's a great game. It's 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 awesome to get in there and like you can relieve some stress. Just just play some music, slash some blocks. It's a uh, I like I like the uh, the modded mode where you can download like whatever song you want and play like you know any song you want to hear basically. Yeah, for sure. I'm a big fan of rhythm games because they let me listen to some of my favorite music while getting to play a game. It's just fantastic. And I think a really good thing about it is its accessibility. It, because it's so simple, I feel like literally anyone can play it. You can set it to any difficulty you want for the pros and for the guys that are a little new to it. And even if you go beyond that level of getting expert plus the best you can possibly think you could get, you can still add modifications like ghost notes to make them disappear in the middle of playing or faster song. You can just keep going. And as an arcade owner, it's awesome because you don't have to teach somebody a lot of a lot of stuff about it. It's just, you know, getting the headset, slash some blocks, that's it. But you know, even if you are really good at it, you come out to the arcade and there's going to be a top score you got to beat. So there's always room to like improve. I mean, here in Chillicothe, we've got Dylan who, yeah. who just kills it. You know, I've never seen anybody move through those like songs as fast as, as he does it. It's crazy. Right. I can tell you, I, I'm decent. I'm pretty good at Beat Saber, but I can't catch up to him. But that's just the thing about it. I keep playing because I want to get better at it. And even sometimes I get mad at it, I rage at it a bit, and then I quit. But I still want to come back to it because it's kind of hard to leave it. It's just kind of a, an addicting game, honestly. It's very fun. Well, and it's genius, too, because there's always new songs they can add to it. And, or you can get the modded game where you can where you can add your own songs. Although I think with the new uh, DLC, they made the modded mode harder to play yeah if i remember correctly like you can still you can still use it but only the songs that you downloaded prior to the dlc yeah but even if you're not about the modded mode there's plenty of songs to play like i'd say uh the monster cat pack the rocket league pack you got imagine dragons bts one just came out there's yeah. a, a lot of music packs to try out. Green Day. The Green Day song pack's my favorite. Oh, yeah. They're all really solid, too. They aren't just trash add-ons or anything, and they gave you that free Fit Beat song. That was a really good one. Yeah. So there's just yeah. no end to what you can play, really. And then they added the new multiplayer mode, so you can play with your friends. It just keeps getting more and more stuff, and I can see that it would add a ton more in the future. Yeah. I mean, the, the only knock that I've got for Beat Saber is that it is now a, an Oculus exclusive, so new content is only going to Oculus. So me, as a Vive owner, that kind of kind of upsets me, but, you know, I still have the game and everything that it was prior to that, so I guess... I guess I'll have to get an Oculus if I want to keep getting the downloads. <laughs> right. I mean, that's an agreeable point. I still love the game. I mean, so I'm cool with doing whatever I got to to play it, you know? <laughs> yeah, Beat Saber. Beat Saber's good. Yeah. Um, and then my game, the one that, that I think is, is at the top of my list right now in VR is uh, Loco Dojo for the simple fact that it's a fun uh, multiplayer game that it, it's a lot like um, Mario Party in a way. Yeah. Like it's just mini games and there's like even a little um, board game board that you like progress through in the game. And all the mini games are super fun. 
It's great for groups. Um, I, there's even a single player mode that you can just kind of play the mini games versus the computer if you want to. But um, but yeah, I mean, and, and it's it's timed like about an hour long. So again, as an arcade owner, that's perfect. So if somebody comes in, they want to play an hour of VR arcade. I can just put them into Loco Dojo, and and that'll pretty much satisfy their time for the entire hour. And, you know, just a super fun game. I love it a lot. Oh, yeah. I can totally agree with you. I mean, the first day that Loco Dojo became available in the arcade, we already played it, and we already had just a fantastic time with it. Because there are plenty of mini games to play, and I can pretty much say that pretty much every single one of them are good. They have good balance. They're very fun. Uh, and I like... Some one that is super simple. You're just swipe swatting bats out of the air with like sausage nunchucks. Yeah. It's it's super easy <laughs> and simple, but I just have the best time with it ever. Yeah, graphically, I think it's clever too because it's all stylized, cartoony, but everything has like a wood grain texture to it, which makes it a little more uh, silly, which I enjoy. And then, like you said, the, the sausage nunchucks yeah. that you're, like, smacking bats with. I do like that about it, because it's like, even when you're hitting the bats with the nunchucks, they make, like, a wooden clank noise, because yeah. everything's made out of wood. They even fly <laughs> around on strings. It's right. a neat little design. Yeah, it was really cool. And, and games like that don't go out of style very easily, because you're not trying to keep up with the latest graphics and trying to make it look real realistic. It's It's got its own niche where it's stylized and it just it'll stay classic i feel like yeah uh, my favorite mini game is the uh the shark one where you're like shooting the this uh i think, I think it's chum, like chum yeah yeah mm -hmm. at the opponent and then like it's a squirt gun so you gotta pump it up and squirt it and then the other person like the shark pops out of the water and you gotta like dodge out of the way oh yeah that's a stressful game but it's super fun yeah mm -hmm. I've had a few people run into the walls <laughs> trying to get out of the way. Yeah, I it's, can understand that. That one's fun. I like that one. I like the one where you're, like, throwing the toothpicks at the cactus, and you got to, like, hit the, the vegetables as they're, like, flying around the cactus. Yeah. Just really clever, really cool, clever little games. I like it a lot. And, I mean, those are only, like, three of the 15 or 20 mini games you can play. And it's plenty to do yeah. and i can see like in the future they get they make an update new maps new mini games and all kinds of new stuff i mean it's not i don't think it would be a very hard game for them to update no i mean it's pretty new isn't it yeah i've only had it for about six months i think but i don't know why they wouldn't make a dlc you know it's just it's a really easy game to to go modular and just add more mini games to add more characters to add another map you know, it'd be it'd be super easy to just keep expanding on that game. I think. Oh yeah, and I'm I'd be waiting for the day that mod come well that expansion comes out because that game is super fun. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That one. I mean, like I said, it's it's perfectly timed for like a, a decent, fun little thing for your family. It's it's great for kids. It's multiplayer. You know, and that for me like. When I play VR, I want something that is multiplayer because, like, the single player stuff's fun, but being able to play VR with your friends in multiplayer is, like, what I think VR is all about. Like, For sure. The immersion is, is really cool, but, um, but I think, like, nothing beats getting in VR with your friends and playing against each other, or even, like, working cooperatively like Arizona Sunshine or something like that. Right. I think it succeeds in one of the big things in being accessible for new players because, I mean, that's a very important thing right now in the early kind of stages of VR stuff because no one really knows what they're doing. Everyone's kind of new to it. So to be able to pick up and play it really fast is really important right now. Yeah. And I think that's something both games, Beat Saber and uh, Loco Dojo have in common. And I, I feel like a lot of the good VR games are just, you know, simple games that you can pick up and play just like that and have a ton of fun with. Yeah, all of the, the hit games right now are just real simple. Well, I can't say that because Half-Life Alex is really complex and it's probably one of the most popular ones. But of, like, the top ten games, they're all just simple, fun, you know, easy to pick up, easy to play 
you know, VR titles for the most part. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that will probably do it for our first podcast here. This is a, a new series. We plan on doing this every week, um, changing topics up a little bit here yeah. and there. But for the most part, we're going to stay on topic of games in general. You know, being that we're in a VR arcade right now, VR was the most logical first step, in my opinion. <laughs> right. But, uh, but I do love, you know, we both love games just in general. So I definitely want to hit on uh, Watchdog Legions, which I'm playing right now and love. That game's, that game's really awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, just all kinds of stuff. But yeah, stay tuned and I hope you guys like it. Have a good one. <laughs> See you.